This is a fruit bowl. I call it a fruit bowl because I put fruit in it. For example, at the moment there are apples and pears in there. I happen to be also rather fond of avocados, but their fruit status is rather more complex. By botanical definition, they are a fruit. But my taste buds protest that they are vegetable. Should they be allowed to reside in the fruit bowl or not? I tend to put them in there. After all, it's only called a fruit bowl because I usually put fruit in it. But it's really just a bowl. And I could put anything in if I wanted to if it wasn't too big. There are only ever two arguments made against taking in refugees and asylum seekers that ever seem to stand with people. The first is against the people themselves. Fears surrounding their reasons for coming here, whether they're actually terrorists and if they're actually genuine. The second is that the country can't sustain the influx of that number of people. There isn't the infrastructure or the economy or the space or something similar. In regards to the first, we can be wary of putting avocados in with apples and pears, but really, we just need to see that it is just a, a bowl, and it is we who have defined it as solely a fruit bowl. Refugees and asylum seekers are first human, as a we. Could there be terrorists among them? Yes. There could also be terrorists among us. But if we let that fear control what we do, then we have actually succeeded in their purpose. That doesn't mean that we do nothing, but we have other means of finding terrorists and other threats than just stopping people coming in. That's a brute force method rather than a targeted strategy. And that's not helpful. Particularly not for these mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, sons and daughters that come to us, hurting and in pain and asking for help. If we respond by turning away, then this just shows the world who we truly are. We are working against humanity. In regards to the second, yes, the bowl is only so big. And yes, if you try and fit an elephant into this bowl, it will probably break. It will not work. But we, Australia, are one of the biggest bowls that there is. We have boundless planes to share, and yet we seem to be worried about running out of space. This seems rather strange, but ludicrous. Yes, it will be hard, but people are willing to make it work. People are clamouring to be able to help. Volunteering their time, their homes, their money, their energy and resources. It might involve more an investment than you would like. But this is an investment into humanity, and into our country, and into the future. I think that's worth it, and so do rather a lot of others. So the question is, why don't you?